Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to share the builders of interview question. So this is the part two in one of the earlier part. I have discussed important questions which are asked actually in builder soft company interview and in this part i will be discuss more of these type of questions which are based on code java collection design pattern java 8 and spring boot spring as well so make sure you watch this video till the very end and note down all the questions so if you are struggling with the interview it will be very helpful for you okay so the next thing is like subscribe this channel and subscribe my other channel as well and if you have any other query you can write me uh, in link in the description below and if you uh, see more of this type of con if you want to see more of this type of content please hit the like button so we have a target of uh, 150 like this time in this video i'm i will be sharing multiple questions so i will start with one of the question which is can you override private or static method so if I talk about private method, no, you can't overwrite private method because private method belongs to that class only. So uh, you can't overwrite private method. And if you talk about static method, you can't override them as well because static belongs to class. Static means it belongs to class, but you can write the static method in the subclass as well. But that doesn't mean it is overrided. So suppose you have a method m1 static m1 in your super class and you are writing static m1 in subclass as well the same name method but it won't be considered as overrided method the m1 method uh, in the subclass it its personal uh, method and m1 method in the super class it its personal static method it's not overrided or anything so that is the case so this is the answer for this question the next question is what happen if a uh, exception is thrown by a super class okay so if a uh, exception is thrown by a super class then uh, the subclass can only declare the same or child exceptions of the exception declared by super class and any new runtime exception just not any new checked at the same level or higher level Le now let me explain it again so if we if your super class is uh, uh, declaring any exception then your subclass overridden method cannot declare the checked exception but it can declare unchecked exception if the super class method declare any exception in that case the in that case what happens subclass overridden method cannot declare the same or subclass exception okay or there will be no exception but it cannot declare parent exception so in that case if an exception is thrown by super class if a super class method i would say because it is asking about method he is asking about method so in the subclass method the subclass method can only declare either the equivalent exception or the subclass ex exception it can't declare the super class exception let me give you an example then you will get to know the idea behind it so if your super class method suppose you have a super class super which is name class super and inside that class you have a method m1 and m1 is throw m1 method throws arithmetic exception or any exception so in that case what happens this is a uh, super class and now we have a subclass as well okay so in the subclass we have a overridden method m1 again which is throwing exception so in that case you will get an error why you will get error because this exception is subclass uh, super class of arithmetic exception so that's why you will get error otherwise otherwise you can either declare arithmetic exception here or no exception otherwise if you declare any exception which is a super class of uh, the ex exception which is thrown by super class uh, method 
then you will get error and that error will be your runtime error okay now i will go to the next question which is let me just clear it out and let me just uh, mark it black again and the next question is what is wrapper class so wrapper class is uh, like very easy uh, type of topic in java and if you uh, talk about wrapper classes the example of wrapper classes are integer float character boolean so these are the example of uh, like wrapper classes and why this is called wrapper classes these are the example of wrapper classes and why this is these called wrapper classes because it wraps the uh, like object it wraps the primitive data type into an object so you have primitive data type like int plot long so for int you have integer class for long you have long class these type of classes you are available so if you have primitive data type it will it will be wrapped inside an object uh, using the integer like using the wrapper classes so that's why it is called wrapper class as well so uh, these are the wrapper classes and another question or the next question is what is the difference between thread and process what is the difference between thread and process so if i talk about process process is active program that is a program that is under execution okay and in the case of thread thread is a very lightweight process okay it's a so lightweight that it's a smaller segment of an instruction that can be handled independently by a scheduler so there are multiple differences between uh, process and thread because process is a heavyweight and thread is a lightweight and uh, uh, thread needs less time of work and uh, uh, like le less time of work but process need more time okay and process need more resources as well but in the case of thread it needs only less resources and it's it, it is lightweight as well where uh, like process is heavyweight so these are the some of the differences between uh, process and thread so i am sure you get uh, like uh, you know the answer of this question because it is one of the simple and most of the time it will be asked for a fresher or one year two year experienced guy but sometime they can ask for uh, like a senior guy as well so you must be prepared for this type of question as well and the next question is what is garbage collection so if i talk about garbage collection jvm automatically handles the garbage collection garbage collection is whenever you are creating objects it will be stored inside your heap memory and after some time it will be garbage collected that means the memory can be used for other resources or for other objects as well so it's kind of a automatic memory management a garbage collector is used to manage the heap uh, heap is area basically which which is like a dynamically uh, dynamic memory area which allocates the memory dynamically and this is this is used to like uh, the garbage collector is used to manage that area the primary benefit of garbage collection is uh, the programmer don't need to remember the uh, like uh, allocation or delocation of the memory okay it is done by jvm automatically so garbage collector how it works it scans the memory address space and identify that which which are the memory area which are not longer uh, reachable no longer in use so whatever memory area is no longer in use it will it will like garbage collect them or it will free them so that's a entire process behind that because uh, like heap area there are memory spaces like eden space one first gen second gen last gen space meta space and all and whenever this minor garbage collection happen or major garbage collection happen it will empty the area or it will free the particular area so after like multiple cycles of garbage collection in the major garbage collection all the memory area will be freed so that's the entire process of that it has some uh, disadvantages as well so when you when you read about uh, the garbage collection in the detail you will come to know so i have uh, to like i told you in very short uh, answer but you can use this to answer uh, this question now let's jump to the next question which is write a singleton design pattern in multi threaded environment so uh, single uh, uh, like singleton design pattern so the interviewer interviewer must be asking about the singleton classes 
how you can create a singleton class so there are various steps to create a singleton class like uh, the class uh, the uh, sorry the class uh, which you are uh, creating the like uh, it has uh, data members uh, static and private and there must be a method which is used to create the object of that class and the constructor should be private so that no other uh, no no one from outside can use the constructor to create the object of that class okay and from that method uh, which is used to create a object which is used to create the object you can call that method from outside and that method will, will check the if the object is already created then uh, then it will return the same object and if the object is not created then it will create a new object for you and return that object but the question is how you can create a singleton class in multi-threaded environment so now what is multi-threaded environment in multi-threaded environment there are multiple uh, like threads are involved multiple threads are involved so what happens like one thread is trying to insert enter the uh, method which is which is like uh, uh, used to create an object and other thread is checking if the object is not created or not and other thread at the same time creating the object if the object is not created uh, if the object is already created and like uh, there there may be some ambig ambiguity because of multiple threads so what you will do in the multi threaded environment what you will do you will uh, there are multiple ways to do that you can use synchronized block you can use synchronized method so the method uh, which is using which which is used to create the object of that class either you can make that method synchronized method or the other way is you can use a singleton block inside that method and inside that block you can check if the object is instance is already created or not if it is already created then only uh, if, if it is already not created then only you will create the instance and return that instance back to you of course there is double check locking as well double check locking is something oh, uh, like which is also which is also solve some some of the issue so i like if i talk about double check locking here the answer will be very long so you must read about it there are multiple like sources available to read about uh, uh, double check locking i will just move to the next question uh, because this channel is all about questions and everything and uh, if you practice these question if you like uh, read about these question collect the answer of these question uh, like you will see that uh, like you your interview will be uh, you will see that uh, uh, you won't don't struggle in the interviews okay so that is my point actually uh, i'm just here to help you out and if you have any queries you can write me as well in, the, in this video in the comment section or you can contact me as well uh, through this uh, link in the description okay and uh, you can subscribe my other channel as well where i talk about uh, career and many other things latest thing uh, in hindi so that is a hindi channel so you can subscribe uh, that as well and uh, the next question i have is write a program to fibonacci series okay so you need to write a program on fibonacci series in java because of course we are dealing with java here so everything will be done in java so so if i talk about fibonacci series what is fibonacci series there is an example also given by interviewer what is fibonacci series so fibonacci series is a special type of sequence like uh, when you add to the first number you will get the uh, next number so if you add so it will start with 0 and 1 and then if you add 1 and 0 you will get 1 then if you add 1 and 1 you will get 2 okay if you add 1 and 3 you will get 3 uh, you 1 and 2 you will get 3 and if you add 2 and 3 you will get 5 and if you add 3 and 5 you will get 8 something like that so this is the way like uh, how how uh, Fibonacci numbers works so I will just Please show you the solution which I have uh, like uh, found for you which you can use in this uh, uh, to write a program using Fibonacci series uh, it's a simple solution it's a simple solution which is which is uh, uh, using which is using recursion actually by using recursion you can find the how how you can uh, uh, like uh, uh, write a Fibonacci series uh, till a given number so 
till nth number so suppose you have the nth value can be anything it can be 100 it can be 200 it can be 10 so according to that number you have to write the fibonacci series so make sure you understand this solution as well i am removing here because uh, we have to jump to the next question and we have a very limited time so you need to write a fact write factorial of 5 using recursion so again like uh, fibonacci series in fibonacci series we have also used recursion so what is recursion recursion is basically calling the same method from that method itself so that is recursion and if you talk about uh, factorial number factorial number is something uh, what is factorial number factorial number is if if like i have to find the factorial of 5 the factorial of 5 is 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 so that is factorial the entire value so to to like uh, uh, find the factorial i will just uh, quickly uh, show you the solution for this uh, because of the less number of time i will just quickly show you uh, the the solution for this uh, uh, like a problem and the solution is you you are creating a method multiply numbers and you are passing the num which is 6 so if you are like uh, want to find the solution for 5 you will pass 5 here and inside that you will check that if the number is greater than 1 or equal to 1 then you will do num multiply by again you will call the same method uh, minusing the 1 from that so now you have 5 here and you will get a uh, uh, like 4 here 4 here and passing that again so you will get 4 then you will get 3 you will get 2 so you will get 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 something like that and that will be your return type from this and answer for this okay so this is the simple solution for factorial 5 and uh, now uh, the next question will be this how to find a possible substring of a given string so uh, i will share a link in the description for this question where you can uh, re which you can refer to answer this question uh, because this video is all about sharing the interview question uh, like which is asked in the real interviews for to help just to help you out and uh, uh, i thank you so much for watching this video till the very end if you need any help or struggling with the interviews write down like write down all these question and practice them and i'm sure you will clear your round and you will see the difference so soon so thank you so much bye bye